Welcome back everybody to another Sound Decision Lesney and Matchbox Vintage uh, Showcase. I've just been going through my cupboard and uh, I've picked out a selection of, uh, I suppose you could say, industrial trucks, uh, working trucks. So uh, the first one up tonight, as you can see here, this is the Foden Concrete Mixer. Uh, number 21 made by Lesney made in England by Lesney and this is quite a neat truck uh, this one actually drives along um, and has like a little corkscrew underneath corkscrew gear which actually turns the concrete uh, cement mixer barrel on the back so uh, again most of these models are uh, unrestored and in pretty old condition but uh, I just love the fact that they've made it through all these years and they're still going strong. So here's the first one tonight. I hope you enjoy this one. This is quite neat. Um, it's got a red tray, nice orange barrel, yellow cab there. All the wheels are good on this. There's no broken wheels or anything. Uh, the glass um, is in good nick or the plastic windows are in good nick. Good condition and everything appears to be on the truck. So that's the first one up tonight. And uh, we'll just take him away. And next on the list, this guy here. It's a pretty cool old truck. This is a uh, Lesney, uh, a, a matchbox made by Lesney. So it's sort of in that changeover period from when they were Lesney products and then they went to matchbox later. But in between, they were matchbox uh, vehicles made by Lesney. This is the Grit Spreader, number 70. So as you can see, a lot of paint missing off the cab, but the actual dump part at the back where it spreads the grit is in pretty good nick. It's got a lot of its good yellow colour. Very good condition. The wheels were in good condition on this one, and it looks in overall pretty tidy. Lovely casting. Really nice old truck. So that's the uh, Matchbox Lesney Grit Spreader number 70. And the next one up on the list is this guy here. This is pretty cool. It's a really neat old truck, this. <clears throat> it's actually listed as a Lesney Scammel Snowplow number 16. So at some point during its life, long before I got it, the actual plow off the front has disappeared so again an earlier um, casting as you can see no plastic windows no interior on this so fairly early in the uh, in the scheme of things but the paint on it is all original and it's in pretty good condition it's missing a little bit of paint as you can see all over but it's in very good condition quite a nice looking truck Really nice lines, lovely detail on these old castings, and as I've said before, the fact that they've made it through 50 years of being played with is a testament to the quality of the product. And that tipper actually moves up and down at the back too, so you can actually move that tipper up and down as you can see. There we go. So, uh, that is pretty cool. Okay, talking of tippers, next on the list is a Tipex Refuse Collector. This is another Lesney product, number 15. I'll just tip that up there. So you can see there, that's all in good working condition. Uh, the paint is all original on this, or having said that, play-worn. But uh, the little decals on the side of the tipper are still there, and it's missing a you know a little bit of paint. But overall, it's in pretty good condition. And again, another early model. It doesn't have an interior. It doesn't have interior seats. Doesn't have plastic windows. It's a good old-fashioned die-cast and not much else toy. So again, another great Lesney model, the Tipex Refuse Collector number fifteen. And sticking with the uh, 
garbage trucks or refuse trucks. Here is a matchbox number seven, or well, Lesney matchbox number seven um, refuse truck. And again, that's uh, that's all in very good condition. Not a lot wrong with that. Everything's on this model. There's nothing missing that I'm aware of. As you could see, it's a fairly newer model because it's got the plastic glass. So a little bit more modern, hence the Matchbox uh, name underneath it. Still made by Lesney Products, but a Matchbox vehicle rather than a straight Lesney vehicle. So that's the uh, Matchbox number 7 refuse truck. Sticking with work vehicles. This was one of my favourites. I had a couple of these when I was a, a, a kid and then I didn't have my cars once I left home. My cars were disposed of by my parents. They didn't think I wanted them anymore. So uh, I was happy to come across this one. I absolutely love this. It's a really cool casting. So this is the Alvin Stalwart number 61 BP Exploration Truck. This is very, very cool. It's in very good condition. It's got a couple of minor chips on it. I bought this one about a year ago. And I am very happy with it. It is cool. That's the Alvin Stalwart number 61. So that's pretty cool. And now next we're going to go on to another Lesney um, vehicle, sticking with Lesney. And this is really cool, this is really cute. This is a Saladin armoured car, 6x6. So a six-wheel drive scout car, I suppose you could say. Dinky made a bigger one of these, actually, that had a spring load mechanism in the, uh, in the turret. And you can actually fire matchsticks out of the out of the barrel and this is basically a smaller version of that so quite an older casting again because it's a Lesney and uh, but pretty good paint the wheels are in great condition nice shiny black wheels it's actually in very good condition this for its age the turret actually uh, moves around you can actually move that turret there you go look at that you can see where uh, Doctor Who and the Daleks got their uh, inspiration from. When they were inventing the Daleks, they uh, always said that they got their inspiration from like an armoured car or a little tank with a turret like that. So That's pretty cool. That's the Saladin armoured car by Lesney. And we're moving away from sort of heavy trucks and military vehicles into a very cute little car. This is outstanding. This is an old Lesney Morris 12 pickup, number 60. This is very, very cool. This reminds me of the little bottle float that I did in my last video. I just love the style of this. A little Morris 12, a little Morris van. So again, an early Lesney casting with no interior, no plastic windows, but what a great design. It's just such a nice little car. I, I think that's super cute. I really like that. That's, that's awesome. And last on the list, we've actually got a Lesney Hendrickson tractor. Now this actually uh, is in two parts. So it's going to be pretty hard to uh, get this on the turntable. But that's the truck unit. And it's got a little bit of uh, damage to the windscreen. That's how I got it, actually. When these came out, these actually came out with a tractor unit that you see there. And then it had two trailers. One trailer hooked on the back of this one, on the little gimbal there. You can see in between the two back wheels. And then another trailer hooked to the other trailer. So it was a truck and two trailers. Um, but to find a complete set that isn't either ridiculously expensive or in very poor condition is very difficult. Uh, this is a really cool design truck. I really like this. 
dual wheels on the back, all the wheels on this are in good condition, everything's uh, pretty much spot on, apart from the you know, minor paint chips from the years of play wear and the slight crack in the front windscreen, but hey, it's an old truck. I'm pretty sure there's a few old trucks driving around with cracked windscreens. And I'll just take that off and I'll actually put on the, the trailer unit for you guys to have a look at. And that's the trailer unit that it goes on uh, the back of this truck. And the doors are missing off the back um, and it's missing some of its decals. But, um, you know, that's, uh, I guess, all part of having a really old vehicle. I bought this one off the internet and uh, the guy pretty much told me exactly what it was. It was very well described. Um, I'm more than happy with it. Hey, look, I know it's not all complete, but I'd much rather have one that's not complete than not have one at all. So that's the, uh, that's the trailer unit. And I'm just going to go out. We're going to bow out tonight with just the truck on there by itself. And that is... Uh, that's it for tonight so a, another great uh foray into my toy box i'm really glad i could show uh, share these with you guys and show them to you um you know there's probably people out there that may not have seen these before and uh let's just hope that we spread the good word that uh collecting uh model cars and die casts is heaps of fun and it actually is helping keep the history of these products alive every time we save one from the rubbish bin or the scrap yard you know we're we're saving a little bit of history and i'm just happy that i've got them in my collection i hope that uh, you've enjoyed me sharing them with you please like and subscribe to my videos and if you want to leave any comments that'd be awesome uh, thank you very much for watching my videos i really do appreciate all the support um, I'd love to get my subscribers up, so tell your friends, have a look at my channel, and uh, we will see you on the next one. I've got a range of uh, tow trucks, I've got some emergency vehicles, I've got some buses, and just some random cars that I've had lying around for a while. So keep an eye out, uh, subscribe and you'll get a notification hit the notifications button and you'll be uh, notified obviously when I put up another video and I can share a bit more of uh, my collection with you and hopefully pass on some enjoyment to those of you out there that uh, love die cars and model cars as much as I do cheers guys and we'll see you on the next one thanks